Noah was chosen to build the ark. He honored, he respected God. American Indians, the Fijians, the Hawaiians, the Eskimos, the Australian Aborigines all have stories about a flood that are very similar to the Bible. One of the most important perspectives on the Old Testament person, Noah, actually comes from the New Testament. It was built as a real ship to survive a real flood. Well, believe it or not, Noah's Ark can actually handle an awful lot of crosswind and waves and actually help ride itself. It really is a beautiful design. I mean, what would you expect to find if there was a global flood? Billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth. And what do we find? We actually find billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth. When we read God's Word and we look at what we see in the geologic record with the rock layers, the volcanoes, the earthquakes, all the mountains, the folded strata, all those things are perfectly consistent with what we read in God's Word.